<laughs> What's going on, man? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, all that other good shit. Hey, uh, y'all been blowing me up about these puppies. I appreciate it, but I will tell you this, and I, I'm very, very sincere when I say this. Thanks to the people who applied, who didn't make it. I would never put anybody in a bad situation. You know, some of y'all just don't have the lifestyle that you, you know, to take on these puppies. We do take pride in the fact that you don't see my dogs out here for sale again. You don't see a bunch of resale dogs from me. And the reason being is because typically, you know, I, I have a pretty good sense of the people who can take a dog and it's going to be a lifelong pet, a lifelong companion. And uh, I want that more so than anything. I don't care about just collecting a couple dollars from y'all and who's showing. I, I really don't. And I'm serious about that. I really, I, it's cool to have a show dog. You know, that's how we got the champions and all that shit that we got. But we don't we don't stress trying to put a dog in the ring. Our stress is to get a dog a great home where they're going to be loved at and, they, and they're going to die there. That, that's the ultimate goal is that they'll, they'll live their long life and they'll die with the same people and be somebody's family member. Uh, as far as uh, these breedings go, Phoenix is definitely pretty big. Honey, although behind her, is huge. <laughs> and Sparkle is pretty huge, too. Uh, those who were able to get in on many, looking good, looking good. And she's the furthest one behind. But I tell you, there are spots available on Honey. There are spots available on Sparkle. Like I told you, it's a process. You know, those who have uh, who have gotten puppies from me before know I'm not hard to deal with on the uh, part of getting approved. I just want to know a couple things about you, and see if the you know if if you fit into having the dogs you know in your life. I don't want my puppies sitting in cages their whole life, not getting very much attention, or thrown in the backyard, or just there to just be bred to death and not ever really have a life. That's the way we operate here. We want, you know, we want good, healthy dogs that can live a good life with their families. On the other side, Denzel. Yes, he is retired, but we have another person. And I'm just going to be frank with you. If if you brought a stud for me before, I do reserve those rights. You know what I mean? And if you uh, all about health and American bully, and then the next thing you know, you know, you got bullseye and you got all these dogs that, you know, are more exotics type dogs. I don't want my blood mixed with those dogs. So I often just call the people and I say, hey, you know, you mind if I resell that because I don't want my stuff sort of bred with that. And most times they're cool with it because they've moved to something different and they're not interested in using my blood as much. So we do have a Denzel available. The deal is 500 and a second overall pick. I was about to say third, but here's the second. A second overall pick, you know. I'll prove the bitch or I'll prove whatever, you know, everything will go through me. You'll be dealing with me. Right now I have a place here that's doing freezing. Uh, you can have it frozen. I'm going to be having more and more frozen, so I'll have it here. But whenever you want it shipped out, you know, you'll get the bill for whatever I had to pay for the shipping and all that shit. I mean, uh, freezing. And it is what it is, you know what I mean? But he's still producing good. He's actually getting bigger. I got him on a better program, added more calories to him. So it looks like he's doing good, uh, I mean, better overall. So maybe he'll be producing for another year or two. But, you know, that's available to Mandela. Uh, $1,000 stud. There's one spot available there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I get I get more the the weirdos than anything, man. But the spot is there. If you want it, you know what I mean? Get with me on it. Uh, on that one, I can also do the 503rd pick back on that one because that's originally what it was. But either way, I only have one of each one of those, man. And uh, Mandela will be going back to his normal fee of... Uh, 3000 unless you happen to buy one off of somebody else. I don't have no control over that besides approving the bitch. But, uh, you know, for those Denzel fans, I would definitely jump on this. You don't have to deal with anybody else. You'll be dealing straight with me. And uh, it is what it is, man. But I appreciate y'all. I'm returning phone calls today, getting with all my people, letting y'all know about y'all puppy situations. I will holler at y'all later. God bless you. Peace.